Good morning to all present. My name is Josephine Arredondo. I am a student of the fourth semester in the master's degree in school management and supervision of the Benemerita Escuela Normal Estatal, Professor Jesus Prado Luna. And today I am going to present my project of educational intervention titled Promoting the Participation of Parents in the School from the Distributed Leadership. To begin, we have the school context. The project was carried out in a, an elementary fully organized school. It has 170 students and is located in a rural context. The first part of this project was to make a diagnosis which is divided into general and specific. Both were built and analyzed from the institutional learning teaching and community. Deductive content analysis was used and there were found three problematics. The main approach of the problem was an insufficient participation of the parents in the improvement of the school, with their respective causes and consequences as we can see in the diagram. As a general objective, we have encouraged the participation of parents in the improvement of the school the first specific objective is to involve the SEPS Parents Association in the extracurricular activities of the school. The second is to promote collaborative leadership among school teachers. And the third is to motivate parents to participate and appropriate the school. For the first cycle of intervention, a matrix of action was carried out for the two fields of action. The first of which was the participation of parents, where the hypothesis was the application of motivational activities to increase the participation of the parents of the institution. And the goal is that 60% of parents become aware of their co-responsibility with the education and the school of their children. For the field of distributed leadership, the hypothesis was that implementation of collaborative work strategies promotes the organization of projects within the institution and as a goal was the 80% of teachers in the workplace reflect on the relevance of distributed leadership. For the first field, the activities and evaluation instruments were the following. An awareness raising video was designed and shared with teachers and parents on their co-responsibility for the children's education and school. A range scale was designed to validate the video before it was sent and also a checklist for the video distribution organization. For the field of distributed leadership, it was implanted a diagnostic questionnaire to know the expected knowledge of the participant of the subject of leadership. To this end, a range scale was designed to validate the material and a range scale to assess whether participants were aware of the concept of leadership. Then, a PowerPoint presentation was made about leadership, focusing on distributed leadership and a range scale was designed to validate. Finally, a questionnaire was designed on the presentation for which two range scales were designed to validate and note the level of reflection of the participants on the concept of distributed leadership. The main result of the first intervention were in the field of distributed leadership 85% of the participants reflected and omitted a positive opinion of distributed leadership. And in the participation of parents, the scope of the video is unknown. Only 3.3% responded with TOEFL comments on the video sent. For the second cycle of intervention, we continue with the same fields of action. For the first, the hypothesis was the application of strategy to inform parents increases the recognition of their participation in the institution. And the goal was that 60% of parents know about the co-responsibility, participation, and collaboration with the education and school of their children. For the other field, the hypothesis was the implementation of informative capsules 
promotes the relevance of the concept of distributed leadership among the members of the institution and the goal that 80% of teachers in the workplace know the characteristics of distributed leadership. For the first field was carried out the design and implementation of the school official blog where different infographics on topics such as co-responsibility, participation, collaboration, and empathy of the school community. This material were also shared in the WhatsApp groups that each teacher had with their parents. The evaluation tools were the field journal, a checklist, and a range scale for validator a survey applied to parents. A manual of the function of the steps and a survey were also designed and sent to ascertain the reach and opinion of the manual. For the other field was carried out. A distributed leadership workshop was carried out consisting of a podcast program for which the promotional tabloids of the safe podcast were first made to share the workshop participants. The interview scripts were made for the two invited experts. There were three podcasts in total, which were uploaded to a dry folder shared with the participants and an infographic with the main ideas of this and a questionnaire about the podcast. For the second one, it was the same. And for the last one, the same dynamic as at the previous one. As evaluation tools in general, it was used a rubric, range scale, field diary, among others for all the materials and activities. The main results were as follows. In the field of participation of parents, the target set was not achieved because the actual scope of the information material is unknown. Only 37% of parents answered the questionnaire. In the field of distributed leadership, the established goal was not achieved because only 75% of teachers participated in the workshop, getting to know more in deep the concept work. The achievement of the objectives of the project, they were partially fulfilled because there was an increase in parental participation growing from 3.3% to 37%. Collaborative leadership was promoted among school teachers because 80% knew about the concept. These are my references. Thank you very much for your attention.